Look at the state of my bike, man. Oh, it's rotten. So am I. I'm rotten. The state of this. Look at this. <laughs> you can see up my back. So my, so my bike will need a good wash next week and put away for the for the winter now. It's all the surface water. I wasn't going to come on the bike this, this morning. It's 10 to 12 now. I've been here a couple of hours. It's done a big circular hope there. Well, bigish. Be about 35 when I get home. Just at Cobridge. <laughs> if, you hadn't, if you hadn't guessed. It's quiet. The sun's went in. Just going to have me protein bar and a quick drink in a way. I'm tempted to have a pasty. You get a half price cup of tea or a coffee. <laughs> if you buy a pasty or a sausage roll. Wow. How oh, generous of them. Mind the sausage rolls are five, I mind. I tend to get the winter very bad. It's that time of year where you don't know what to wear clothing wise. It's either too hot or too cold. It's... I think I've got, got about two o'clock for the bad weather coming in. So I'll be well back before then. Blowy as well. I wasn't on the bike last week when I was watching the bike race, I, I was in the car because it was um, the race didn't start at quarter past one, it didn't end at about half five so I wasn't going to hang around on the bike all day up there so I went for a walk in the morning and I just drove up to the rails and watched it come up the rails and I watched the fish and stamp on them but I've been up the uh, rail this morning on, the, on, on my bike I went up to, um, climbed out to Newbury, out to Wylam all the way up through stamp on them um, Matt Finn Long through Fennec, up the up the rail, down to Great Whittington again, which is on the St Oswald's Way, onto this uh, military road, up the Stag Show roundabout, the errant norms, down to Sandhoe as usual. But I didn't turn right and go along to Hexham, I just come turned left and come straight along to Corbridge where I am now. I get back, put the bike away, get a shower, and that's just finished for the finished for the weekend. Got quite a busy, quite a busy Monday gardening wise, so I want to keep it for a Give her energy. I'm not feeling it anyway, I'm a bit fat, flat today. <laughs> the good days on the bike are getting less and less, they're very few and far between. But I'm anything but a, a fair weather cyclist, I'm out, I get out all winter, even if I get out once a, once a fortnight, it does. I try to get out once a week, but uh, I've got my eye on a cheapish um, Trek Damani with discs on. It's just mechanical discs, like, but they'll, they'll, that dual pivot, so it'll do. It's just for, I fixed the door in, but the the bridge at the bottom bracket, what takes the, um, the bolt for the mud guard for my new mud guards, is knackered. So it would have to be a clip on guard or a seat, it's a, a seat pin guard for the back. I've kept the mud guard on the front, but I've, I've, re I've fixed it all up and put new handlebar tape and everything on. I'm thinking, should I just sell it and buy this um, £600 Demoni brand new? It's, it's only aluminium frame, it'll do. It's just do for a winter hack. It's only um, Claris group set on it. 16 speed, but it'll do. It'll do. It's you know, just like I said, they can either do it narrow in the winter and up the park head and that. I can put more guards on it. It's plenty of clear, well, not not loads of clearance with it not being a dedicated gravel bike. But if I wanted a specialized diverge, it's 1500 quid and I can't really justify. Let's see them lads here on the winter bikes look full guards. <laughs> so I might just flog the door in, or I could buy another winter frame brand new and strip the door down and rebuild it. Rebuilding on the new frame, but I want disc brakes. I think for the winter, you need discs for the winter, man. But I stop power. You don't need them in the summer, but you need it when it's wet and cloudy, which which it is when I got all the Derwent. And up the park end, that. Let's see if I go once a week. Just keeps me arse in the saddle, or even once a fortnight, and come for a walk in between. On come for a walk one weekend up on the moors, up the Chivits, and then what are you? Just mix it up. As long as I get out doing something over the winter, but you've got to keep your arse in the saddle. Don't just stop completely, man. Because when you come to, like I've said, when you come to spring again, you'll, you'll struggle. Depends how keen you are. Not everybody's as keen as me. I mean, I'm not as keen as what I used to be. I just plod on, no. Take it or leave it. I can take it or leave it. Go to the hobbies, just going on here. I'm walking and all that stuff going on to distract us, to be honest. So, you went to bike's going to give a proper wash down. With all the brushes and bucket and sponge and all dried off and chamoured off, then all lubed and put away in the shed for the winter. Definitely. So I might go to the morning. They've got a 54 and a 56. I think I need a. I'm in between sizes on it with a geometry. I think I'll get away with a 54. There's a few lads just turned up on their bikes. It's not even, but it's busy enough. Right now, I'm here then. Get back home for chill up. Catch us later. Could be sick of the sight, me. Hacky dirty rubble. <laughs> Stick me shoes, man. <laughs> on my legs. Back of the saddle. Ah. Yeah, let's see pin, the brakes and that. Right, catch us later. Have a good week. Stay dry, <laughs> if possible.